Hi Libra. Hi Libra. Welcome back to the channel, The Secret Tarot. Welcome back to my channel, honey. It's always a blessing to have you guys here. Now, Libra, are we going to get into your next 48 hours? So if you're here for your first time, welcome. And if you're returning to my channel, welcome back. You know you're a diamond. Please continue to shine bright and beautiful like a diamond, okay? All right, so we're going to get into a prayer because on this channel, The Secret Tarot, we do pray. A prayer, honey, is a must, okay? So let's get into that prayer. Tap into your energy. We're going to tap into your person's energy for sure. We're going to pull them through past person, present person, future person. You're going to see where their mindset is and what is causing a delay. What is causing a crazy decision? What the holdup is? What are the blockages? Is there anyone that's causing these issues? We're going to find that out, okay? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, as I come before you, I ask for your blessings for myself and for my secrets. Heavenly Father, peace and your most powerful angels to take charge. Open this reading, using my body as a vessel, giving me the right words and the right messages that you want me to share, the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and all the praise in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, so Libra, just know that this reading is a general one and not a personal one. So with that being said, it may resonate with you and then again it may not. Please take what does resonate with you and leave the absolute rest. The roles are always reversing, so keep that in mind, okay? Your person is your person who first came to talk. Cross watchers, same applies to you. Don't force these reads, you guys. It's not meant to be forced. Now, if you are interested in having a personal reading with me, you can always connect with me using the information that I've provided for you guys. And that will be in the description of this video to schedule an appointment for a personal one. All right, let's see what's going on here with your person. And again, your person is your person past present or future place them where you need to place them you guys okay all right what is the message here angels holy spirit ancestors tap into the energy of libra's person what does this person wants to say this is the next 48 hours oh oh sucky sucky okay let's see here what does your person have to say all right, what's the message? What does this person has to say? What is it that you need to share with Libra? All right, Libra. What does this person has to say? What does your person have to say? Past person, present person, future person. What is it that you need to share? Very important messages to Libra from their person. Next 48. All right, Libra. I think I got the messages already now. All right, so your person has a lot to say, okay? They're really, they're, they're really ready to talk. Um, and I don't know why I'm suddenly picking up that somebody here will just not understand what this person is trying to say or this person may be trying to protect you from something. I'm just picking that up. I don't know who that is for, but it's for somebody, okay? Take that how it resonated with you and your situation. But your person is saying that I have addictions, okay? I have addictions. I am no good for you. Now I know why I was picking that up, okay? This person is saying that I have addictions. Now, addictions could be a whole variety of things, okay? Um, I feel like this either could be a sexual addiction. Maybe they, this could be a drug addiction. Um, you know, whatever. Okay. But this person is dealing with something. Um, I feel like whatever this is, this person knows that it is not good for you. It's not good for them. It's not good for the damn universe. Okay. And again, I feel like somebody will not take no for that answer. This is what I'm picking up. Okay. All right. Your person also wants you to know this Libra. Um, I can picture a life with you though I can picture a life with you I can but I have an addiction and I know that I'm not good for you even though I can picture myself with you I know that you have a good heart I know that you are a good person I know that you would be my better half but my addiction is getting the best of me I want more but I'm scared that it won't work out I want more from you but I've, I'm fearful that if I let my guards down and allow you all the way in it just won't work out when you find out about my entire addiction here you're going to be hasta la vista I thought we were fine but I guess I was wrong though 
I am depressed with my life. This person is saying that they are depressed with their life. They thought they knew what they wanted, but in all reality, they wasn't sure what they wanted. Okay? A lot of unsurety here. A lot of triggers. A whole lot of triggers. This person is very unsure. But one thing they are sure about is that they do have an addiction here that they know is not good for you. To be around that is I want to touch you and get physical I would love to touch you and get physical it's definitely not easy being around you it's not easy being around you it, it ain't and your person saying not only that but all the feelings that they're having it doesn't make any sense to them these feelings it doesn't make any sense to me it doesn't make any sense. It just does not add up. Why do I have the need to be attached to this addiction when I know I could give you my all and receive that in return? Your person is saying, I cannot just be a friend to you. I just cannot be a friend. I cannot be a friend to you. I have to be more than just friends. If I'm going to be a part of you, I want to be more than just friends. I want to be more than just friends. And that's going to be hard for me. I know I have lied to you and I am truly sorry for that. I've lied to you several times. And I know I was wrong. And I'm truly sorry. And I hope that you will find it in your heart some way to forgive me for the lies that I told you is what they're saying here all right let's get to it let's clarify these messages okay all right my angels my ancestors please protect me from anything that may come through this read to harm me or my secrets for those who are watching send any send any bad intentions back to the sender in the name of god the father son holy spirit so it is so it is so it's done Get some of this candle wax up out of here. All right, angels, Holy Spirit. Let's see what's going on here. Okay. Hmm. All right, so we have the four, we have the page of wands here. Okay. So there's definitely a lot of fear that's coming in here fear of the unknown. Okay. Um, someone is just in resistance to change or someone is just being stuck or stubborn or just doesn't have the willpower to move on or whatever. Okay. All right. But what you also did have here is a tower. We'll get into that in a little while. All right. So we have the King of Pentacles. This represents your recent past. The King of Pentacles here. You have the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse and then you have the Six of Pentacles. A lot of Pentacles here. Um, that represents um, your past situation, okay? Now, I really feel like you definitely did invest a lot in this entire situation is what I'm seeing here, Libra. Um, because you're given. You're a given person. Until they you get double-crossed, then uh, people will see a side of you, okay? But you're very giving. You're very loving. You're very loyal, okay? You trust a few, but when you trust that few, you go in, okay? You protect, you protect your space is what I'm seeing. Um, I really feel like you did invest. But whatever you invested in did not invest into you back. Okay? With the Ten of Pentacles here, um, there was nothing that came through that you thought that you could have put in a lot of energy and time into. Someone just not, wasn't on the same kind of a stretch. Now, this person is definitely a person that could have made things brilliant and bright for the connection. Okay? Because their energy really is not a bad person. Their energy is coming through as a king of pentacles. Now, this king of pentacles though, even though they're all about stability and balance here, they're still dealing with something here that's under the rug. Okay? This person is dealing with an addiction. Okay? So this person is, uh, you know, why do I feel like this person is just this charming, handsome or beautiful type of a person and at night they're just balled up doing either toxicity or they're just balled up just making wrong decision. That's just on period. This is what I'm seeing 
in the recent past, okay? It caused major problems. And tap it into the this this tower here. Didn't work. It didn't work. It didn't fix right. Now, in the recent in the present, you have the four swords here. You also have the moon. And then you do have the ace of cups. Now, I feel like this person might have tried at one point to make things right, or this is you. Uh, maybe you tried something new, a new beginning. You wanted a new beginning with this person, or this is them. But somebody really wanted something new. But the problem is there was something that was kind of being hidden here. This person was still holding on to something under the rug. I feel like this rug got pulled in or pulled out or whatever. But for some of you, you were just kind of taking your time and really patient with the entire situation in the present. Um, you know, but now is no time to do all of that. It's time to make moves. You rested, you thought about, you prayed about, it. maybe had a little personal reading here and there. Listen, it's time to make some moves now because now you're seeing the reality of the situation for what it really truly is. Now let's really talk about this. All right, so we still have the, um, the tower here. We're going to tap into that. Now, what's coming towards you is the star. And then you do have the three of wands energy here in the reverse. And you have the five of pentacle also in the reverse. Now, I feel like whatever loss that you might have coming, I feel like there's definitely a feeling where you're going to be blocking these financial loss. Um... It doesn't have to be financial loss, but it could have been any kind of a loss that is going to put you in a dark place. Now, you have a, a decision to make, though, okay? I feel like for some of you, you need to know this, though, Libra, that you cannot allow fear to be your best friend. Did it, did it done it, didn't work. You don't want to resonate with that shit anymore. You're going to let that go, honey. You're going to put that back to the pit of hell where it came from because that shit didn't serve you no good then. It ain't serve you no good right now. It ain't serve you no good. That's coming, okay? So you're going to let the zeros go. And you're going to move forward. I really feel like once you move forward, there's so much good that's going to be coming towards you here. Um, I'm seeing the, you know, the light. You're manifesting your peace, your power, your, your energy is restored. Um, your joy, your happiness, whatever the enemy had set out for their bad is going to be for your good. For some of you, you might have lost money here. Maybe finding your spend, yourself spending more than you really should have all that is coming back but you just have to make sure that you really stand in your ground this time around this is what i'm seeing that's coming towards you you have a major decision to make you guys for some of you this could be a long distance decision this could be someone that you, you know maybe you're connected with someone that's a little bit distance from you far away but i really feel like everything's going to be tied together with the star being here um especially because i'm seeing you reaping a lot of things that you might have lost because you did have the five of pentacles in the reverse okay so you're regaining back any loss you're healing from any loss any structure that might have been falling down that might have taken a toll on you or maybe for some of you have children maybe taking a toll there you're healing from those doors are getting better now you did have the tower here the tower in the reverse you guys just know this that you cannot hold on to a situation that doesn't need to be held on to anymore it's going to be falling apart you're working on something that doesn't need to be worked on because you have tried and you have tried and you have tried and you have tried and it didn't work. It, it's not going to work because it takes two to tangle. There's a road here, but there's always two lanes, left or right, right or wrong, up or down or whatever. Okay, You're going to have to make a choice for yourself as far as this major arcana is concerned. Regardless of sitting in the upright or in the reverse, it's the same damn thing for me. You don't have to make a choice, honey, because you will not suffer any major loss anymore. It's time for healing. It's time for healing, boo. All right? This is going to be your next 48 hours. I hope that it did resonate with you, um, Libra. Um, please um, give your reads a thumbs up on your way out. This is how you support your channel. And this is exactly how your channel grows. You guys, if, you're not, if you have not subscribed to my other channel life is juliana i please ask you guys to go over and subscribe to that channel um life is juliana i would love to have you guys over there okay make sure that you guys are saying hello in the comments so i could know that you're in fact you're you you've made it okay um you'll get to know me a whole lot better beyond doing the, the, the tarot i just let my my guards down take my dang wig off and all that stuff okay so come over and subscribe to that channel okay 
I love you guys to the moon and stars. Um, pray for me as I'm always praying for you. Um, when I say always, I mean always. If you do need to have a prayer request, just go ahead and let me know that you need one. Um, simply by leaving your initials down below. Um, pray for me as I'm also praying for you guys. And with that said, always remember to seek first and you always find. Bye guys.